YouTube, I'm back again. Oh wait, I need to turn on the lights in here. One second. Well, that didn't really help much. My whole family is sick, and so I locked myself in my room, and I'm just chilling out with a can of olives. Olives are my favorite food ever. Okay. Anyway, today I was gonna do the throwback tag. And since I'm filming with my phone, I just like went on earlier and wrote down all the things. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, so the first question is, what year was I born in? I was born in 2002, so I am 13 now. Alright, the next one is baby pictures, or pictures from when I was younger. Let me go get those. Alright, I've brought back some pictures from when I was younger. This one is from the day I was born. And I was wearing my favorite color, too. Blue. I don't know why I was wearing blue. Don't they make, like, the girls wear pink? I don't know. And then here's from, like, my first Christmas or something. I don't know. I think it is. It probably is. And then here's from when I did soccer. Yep, I was a weird child. Okay. Next question, I... TV shows from when I was little. This is gonna be great. Okay, one second. Rugrats, Jake and Josh, Drake, Drake and Josh, um, Zoe 101, H2O, Fairly Odd Parents, SpongeBob, like the old SpongeBob. I don't really like the new SpongeBob. The old SpongeBob was better. Just saying. Ren and Stimpy, Rocco's Modern Life. Cat and dog. Let me think. Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron was like my favorite. I don't know why. Okay, next question. Okay, this is what do I want to be when I grow up? And do I still want to be that? I'm still eating all those. I wanted to be a vet. But I mainly wanted to be a vet for small animals back then. And now, I want to be a vet for like, E I want to be an equine and livestock vet, so mainly with, like, larger farm animals. And I also kind of wanted to be, like, with, like, zoo animals. Mm. I like animals a lot. Next question. Okay, this next one was my favorite toys. I liked Barbies a lot, of course, because that's what girls were supposed to like. And I liked Polly Pockets. I know, and Littlest Pet Shops. Oh, fun fact, my, li my little brothers used to take my Littlest Pet Shops. Oh, I found jelly beans. They used to take my Littlest Pet Shops, and they used to flush them down the toilet. And one day, we had to get a new toilet because they just kept flushing them down there, and it broke the toilet. I found jelly beans. And one more toy that I still have. So I found one toy from when I was really little, and it was this, and I got it for my second birthday, and I loved it. Oh, and I also had this weird thing, like a horse head. I don't know why I still have it, it's just here being creepy. It literally freaks me out sometimes. Sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night, and I'll look down from my bed, which is up there, that's where my bed is, and I'll look down over to this shelf over here. And see that creepy ass thing. And it scares me. Alright, next question. Mm. Three songs from when I was little. Okay, first of all, I really liked Piano Man. That was great. Mm. And when I was little, like that was when my chemical romance started to get really big. And my favorite song in the world was Welcome to the Black Parade. And that's actually kind of how I got into them now. I just remembered, hey, this song used to be pretty good, because I heard it on the radio, so I looked it up. Then I started listening to more of their songs, and I was like, yes. So, Welcome to the Black Parade. I used to sing that a lot. Um, oh, yeah, I also used to sing American Idiot, which was great. Okay, next question. This one's a good one. It's funny Halloween costume. I have a great one. One year... I decided I was going to go all out, and I dressed up as a Barbie. Not just any Barbie. It was, like, a creepy, like, creepy doll Barbie. And this was when I was, like, eight. 
um, this was, like, really creepy, it was, like, really bloody and stuff, um, to top it all off, we went all out, we made a giant Barbie, like, box, and I was in it, and we had, like, a little backpack on it, so that, like, we attached it, so that I would be able to, like, walk around with it, um, I spat, I splattered, like, blood all, like, fake blood all over it, and it was really creepy. Lots of people still remember that, that live in my grandma's neighborhood. They're always like, oh, yeah, one year we got a Barbie, like, a really creepy one. And I'm like, oh, that's me. That was me. But, yeah. Last year, me and my friends dressed up as serial killers and zombies. Like, my friends were serial killers, and I was just a zombie. And then we ran around and chased our neighbor with a shovel. Okay. Next question. Oh. Now it's asking me for a story. Okay, so when I was little... My sister made up this play. It was called The Good, The Bad, and The Baby. And so my little brother played the baby, obviously. And it was great. I had to make... At one point in the play, she threw um, little carrots, like fake carrots, at me and my grandma. And we had to pretend like we were melting. And it was great. And so I had to sit there for hours cutting up little paper carrots only for them to be thrown all over the floor at us, and then we had to pick them up and throw them away. I was mad, because I spent forever on those, and for some reason those were my proudest creations, even though they were the crappiest things on earth. Okay, next question. This question is funny things I used to do. I used to dress up my little brothers as Disney princesses, and... I had, like, Cinderella dresses and Sleeping Beauty dresses, of course, that my grandma bought me, but I never wore because I was never really into princesses. And so I dressed my brothers up as them, and I made them have fashion shows. And I did that just so that when they're older and they have girlfriends, because they're, like, eight and nine now, but when they're older and they start dating, I'm going to tell their girlfriends about that. That was the whole reason I did that. I was like, when you guys date... I'm going to tell people about this, and they're going to not date you anymore. Okay, next question. Okay, this one is the scariest thing I remember. And, okay, the scariest thing I remember was when I was four years old. I was at the library with my mom, and I was, like, running to get somewhere. And I ran, and I hit the corner of, like, a door frame. And I still have the scar, like, right over here. You can barely see it, but I still have the scar. I cracked my head open. There was, like, blood everywhere. It was really creepy. <laughs> and we were in the children's section, so there were, like, children crying. And so we ended up going to the doctor's office, and I had to get stitches. And my sister was with us, so she was there. She threw up a few times because she was, like, watching me get stitches, and she got really grossed out. So she threw up. It was... That's the one thing I can laugh about. Oh, and I got free ice cream out of it, too. He gave me, like, a coup The doctor gave me a coupon for free ice cream. It was great. Okay. Next question's the last question. Okay, the last question is, how is the world different? There is one big thing. There is a lot more social media. Like, I grew up, like, we had one family computer. And so I used to use it to go, like, um, I used to look up, like, I used to just, like, play stupid games on, like, the Disney Channel website. And now my brothers have, like, Instagrams, and they're always, like, texting their friends on their iPods. I'm like, dude. Oh, and we also, we also had way better music when I was little. Now we have, like, this stupid rap, and I'm like, no. Like, I never hear the bands I like on the radio. Never have I ever heard... Black Veil Brides playing on the radio. Or Pierce the Veil. I've only heard one song by My Chemical Romance on the radio, and that is Welcome to the Black Parade. And now we've got, like, oh, Baby Got Back was a great song. I used to like that song when I was little, just the beginning of it. And so, yeah. And now um, Nicki Minaj ripped off Baby Got Back with Anaconda. And don't appreciate that okay let's just end this video all right so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this i'm probably gonna upload a lot more this week because i'm on spring break and i don't have many friends 
so there's not really anything to do over spring break. But me and my friends might go to the lake, but they haven't, like, texted me back about that, even though they were planning it. Alright, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Where's the music? We have to have the ending music. I'll be right back. My iPod's dead, so I can't play the ending music. We'll just pretend there's, like, Black Veil Brides or My Chemical Romance or Green Day or Pierce the Veil playing. Someone, just, if you're watching this video, just start singing any song you want. And that'll be the ending music. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I have some boring videos. But leave suggestions for more videos down below. And please tell your friends about me. Subscribe. All that jazz. Follow me on Twitter at PonyLove219. Made the name when I was five. And Instagram at Adeline underscore Kelly. And yeah. Love you guys. Peace out. Bye.